What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. Last time, we changed clothes. More importantly, Time continues to press onward as midterms loom ever closer. We begin on Friday, so we still have a few days to prepare. Even though... <laughs> we have everything maxed except diligence. And honestly, max diligence really isn't necessary. I think the biggest benefit we get from that is just being able to fish five times in a single evening. So yeah! Pretty much we're good on stats. In this episode, we'll continue to spend our days developing our social links at the very least. So we've gotta be prepared for when the killer strikes next. Now, unfortunately, today we are only going to be spending time with Shu. So we aren't actually going to rank up. But the next time we hang out with him, we should be able to. And hey, we still get money. All right, and now it's Wednesday. Yo. Oh, hey, Chie. Tell me why you did it and we drink I mean, in another life, I sh I defeated those things by pointing a gun to my head and selling Persona. What was that? I mean! <laughs> well, now that you mention it, a lot of those things do look like they would come from our side. I mean, we fought lions, tanks, robots, dancers. I mean, th those seem like things that you would just see on TV or read. So we see it as a TV program and it becomes like a TV program? I guess that's one potential theory. <laughs> that is another potential theory. We'll come up with ideas and go from there. And then there's school to get through.
Uh, yes. One yen coin. Uh, that would be two yen. pretty much true whenever we make a penny. It costs more to make it than what is actually produced. So then it begs the question, why do we make it? Eh, not important. What is important is that it is now after school. And ooh, it's raining today. So that severely limits what we can do in terms of social links. In fact, the cat's not going to be out either. Ah, oh, man. All right. Well, since we are limited in what we can do, I guess we don't really have much of a choice except to just head over to the shopping district and specifically the shrine. We do still have plenty of social links that still need to be finished. And some could use a little bit of a helping hand. So today, we are going to go and pray. So what social link are we going to be praying for today? Well, today, we are going to pray for a male student from school. First time we're doing this. And we are going to pray for Kanji. Need a few extra points of kanji before we can rank up with him. And that's our day. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Aw, thanks, Nanako. Ooh, the fridge is full of food. And my package came! It's my huge fish combo! Alright! Alright, so what are we going to be doing this evening? Well, Nanako did go shopping, so... I say we take this opportunity to get some extra social link points. Now, what can I make? I can make croquettes! Sure, why not? <laughs> okay, how hot should this be? Well, if I really want this to cook well and get all the ingredients to mix correctly, I probably would want this on high. <laughs> Good. And now we have crispy croquettes. And we got some bait. Oh boy, gossip. It's been quite a while since we've heard some gossip.
festival? Well, I guess I would be that time of year. All right, well, at any rate, now it is lunch. So who exactly are we going to be sharing our lunch with? Well, we are not going to invite anyone from our class. Or younger classmen. Or any of those other people. No, we are once again sharing our lunch with Yumi. We need a lot of points with Yumi in order to rank up with her. But it does make sense considering what's happened, so, you know, spending enough time with her, I'm sure she appreciates it. Hope you like croquettes! Oh, this is tasty! <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Oh, well, she enjoyed it. And there we go! Next time we hang out with her, we should be able to rank up. And now it goes to the afternoon. Nope, we're not done with school just yet. How are? Well, when you touch a plant, it speeds up their growth. It's kind of cruel when teachers put new material on a test that begins the next day. Like seriously, shouldn't the last class before, or even couple classes before, be review? Oh well, whatever, that's not how this school operates. And now it is after school. So, what are we going to be doing today? Actually, a lot. You see, today we have a lot of quests that open up to us. So, we are going to spend a good amount of this time accepting these quests. And, oh boy, do we have a lot of them. So, where are we going to first? Well, to first, we are going to head right over here because Miss Sophie has a quest for us.
Oh, uh, sure. What do you need help with? In that case, sure, I'll find it. All right, so now we have another quest. So what exactly do we need to do in order to get this? Well, we need to find a humanoid figure that might appear in a game. Yep, we actually need to head back to Void Quest. So yeah, a little bit annoying, but hey, if that's what it takes. So our next quest will actually take us up to the third floor. There's actually a few quests here on the third floor, and the first of which is Miss Mrs. Nakayama. Yeah, sure, what is it? Feng Shui? I do have a knack for that sort of thing. Crystal ball? <laughs> uh, Mrs. Nakayama, that's not what a crystal ball is for. But far be it for me to tell you what to do. I'll see what I can do. I have no idea what any of those things have to do with each other, but hey, as long as we get paid in money or items, I kind of don't care what you do with it. So where would we find such a thing? Well, we would need to find a statue at a hideout. So, yes, one of the relics at the secret lab. Now, the next person we have to talk to is right over here. For the first time in a long time, we see the principal. Sure. What is it? i 
Thanks. money can't buy, eh? I think I might be able to help you with that. Yeah, didn't expect the principal to be a tank guy, and yeah, I don't think we need to talk to him to figure out what we need to do to get that. Okay. So next th step is heading on over to the first floor. Our next quest giver is over here. We need to talk to this girl right over here by Nalto. I get the feeling this would make more sense if we talk to her more often and see kind of a mini character arc. But I don't because we have other things to do. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, sure, what is it? high-speed gear? Uh, well, I might have an idea on where to get one of those. Sure. Alright, another request. And yes, by the way, this is where you can find Nalto. <laughs> At least after school. But we're not gonna talk to her. Instead, we are off to the practice building next. We need to head on over to the second floor of the practice building since we have yet another part in an ongoing quest chain. There's actually quite a few quest chains within the game and we have another part. And that's the homely girl right here. See ya! <laughs> and get something like what? know we've been why we've been stockpiling these
Yes! This is why I've been stockpiling these things for the entire freaking game. Because you get these in Kanji's dungeon. And I really don't want to have to go back all the way there just to get these things. Especially this late in the game. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, thanks. But hey, we get a bead. Very nice. So that is a full HP recovery for one party member. Basically think of it as the huge fish. All right, so now that we have that taken care of, I'm pretty sure we can go sell any of the other uh, things of passion, or, no, they're not things of passion, they're proofs of blank. Whatever. We could probably just go and sell those now, because that's really the biggest reason why I've been stockpiling piling them. Why can I not stay- Why can I not speak? Cat, save me! Thank you, Cat! Okay, so, where are we off to next? Because we are not done. There are still quite a few quests that we can go and accept. And the next one is talking to the guy in front of the bookstore. Yeah, sure. I understand. Ooh. Sure thing. <laughs> oh, look at the time. No have time for books. We always have time for books. Right, bring it. So basically, kind of think of this like Riddle Senpai's quest. Except rather than having to think of riddles, you have to remember the stuff that you read from the books this guy gave you in this quest chain. Yeah, that flavor text actually has a purpose. At least some of them do. Hmm. Well, that one's pretty simple enough. That was Judo Medalist's names. Punk swing? Oh, that was how you should live as a punk. Oh, two pages. I remember that one just because of how stupid it was. Me!
And we get one final book from him. Who am I? And I can completely understand that sentiment. I mean, granted, it's with games and not with books, but the same principle applies. When you uh, find someone to talk with in terms of a specific hobby or anything like that, it can be really fun to just discuss with. I mean, people do that all the time with TV shows and movies. And with me and a lot of my friends, we talk about certain games all the time. I mean, heck, we talk about Persona a lot. <laughs> at the very least with some of them. But still, like even just other games in general, it's just kind of fun just to have other people to talk with that share the same interest. And that applies to a lot of things. So anyway, we are heading up here because this old guy has another quest for us. there's a point to this. <laughs> Just walk away! Gramps. Who uses that phrase anymore? All right, so another item that we need to get in the TV world. So where would we be able to find this? Well, we can find it in a hideout-like location, and we need to kill a castle. Wait, I don't think we saw that enemy before. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we ever encountered that enemy. Well. Well, whatever. We know it's in Naltos dungeon, so yet another reason to head back there. Now, there is one final quest that we can accept, and it's here at the floodplain. We need to head down to the riverbank because the younger twin has a new quest for us. What do you need?
A branch headband? Yeah, sure. I'll get right on it. Now, one thing that I should make a note on. It should be no surprise that this is probably the longest quest chain in the entire game, at least in terms of number of quests, as with dealing with these two twins. What's also interesting of note is that this is also the only set of quests that has a deadline. The younger twin mentioned that she is moving soon, and yeah, by the end of the game, she and her sister will move. So it is actually kind of important that we get these specific set of quests done as soon as possible. Granted, they also have days that they can start like any other quest, but still, make a note of that and do note that these should be high priority because you will not have all game to do these. So for this we need to find a gorgeous woman in a hideout. Pretty sure that's one of the idols. Okay, so now that we have accepted all of these quests, and have spent like half the episode doing so. What are we doing today for social links? I do jazz hands, but it's not face cam, so it wouldn't really do anything. Anyway, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, we are going to head on over to the practice building. Today, we are going to spend some time with Kanji. Hey, Kanji. Yeah. Sure do. Want to hang out? Yeah. Damn, Kanji. How do you do this? Nanako? Kanji, it's either you or me, and she's my cousin, so...
Don't call me bro, pal. <laughs> well, hey, if you're gonna teach Nanako, teach me too. What the hell? <laughs> Bye, Nanako. Senpai. Strangely enough, it didn't actually matter how you responded to that one. Kanji's right to a certain extent. There are different definitions of the word strength. Yes, it can mean physical strength, how tough you are, how hard you can throw a punch. But there are also different forms of strength, like the strength of heart, how strong-willed you are, how focused and diligent you are, there are lots of different ways that someone can become strong. It all depends on the context and the definition. What needs to be done? That's more so what strength really is about, is what needs to be done and what you need to do in any particular circumstance. You can't just brute force your way through everything. Sometimes you have to sit back and think or try to speak with a little more emotion. Sometimes you gotta step out of your comfort zone if you wanna be strong. Well, at any rate, Kanji's determination in battle has been enhanced. Kanji can now cure severe ailments during battle. Well, you can expand your wares. That's something, I guess. <laughs> Later. Later, Kanji. Oh, welcome home, big bro. 
Aw, oh, thanks, Nanako. Well, I think we've been going on for long enough. Those quests took a long time to accept. But I think that we're probably going to call it a day here, especially since exams begin tomorrow. Woo. Oh, well. Next time on Let's Play Persona 4. Ugh, exams, 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 exams. We have exams to get through. Who the hell begins exams on a Friday anyway? Oh, well, whatever. Exams begin, then we'll have a weekend, and then exams will continue. But we did hear a little bit about some students about a culture festival. So uh, that should be starting up soon after exams are finished. So at least that's something to look forward to. At least something to look forward to while we wait for the Midnight Channel to show us something. <sighs> well, gotta pass the time with something. Until next time, everyone. Take care.